I'm back with another video. Today we got Berserkers, the most feared Viking warriors. Medieval history. See you in history. I'm a Berserker and a Warlock and an Ascended Master. And I'm tapped into the Akashic Records. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. War has always been part of human history, and for some ancient peoples, war represented the manifestation of divine influences in our world. In many cultures, warriors were a vital part of society, and the most skilled were revered by their peers. But in some situations, even the most respectable warriors lost self-control during battles. Their behavior became animalistic, which frightened even their companions. Being part of a battle in antiquity was a frightening experience. It took a lot of courage to face spears, axes, arrows, and swords. To help the warriors hold their ground in the fight, preparation rituals were performed before the quarrel. In these rituals, some warriors used to wear animal skins like wolves or bears. They believed they would receive the strength and courage of these animals. Together with the use of the skin- And you see that? Your power is in your belief one person believing in it it actualized materialized and manifests for, for that person for that individual you want to know what amplifies it we're all connected right so you got they brotherhood it's on the same accord and they all believe in this and do this ritual together that amplified the flower of life the taurus the biofield all your energy is that much more powerful that much more faster that much more stronger the more people, the more collectives of people and bunches you got to believe in a thing. And that's real. I can go to a and I notice it too. Like I this not philosophy, this not someone that came before me of wise words, so not even currently. No, this literally me seeing from my own eras, trial, tribulations, and mistakes, and seeing other people and example, you got like a Stephen Curry. I think I used this before. You know how you can play the game like playing 2K16? Your character can only be so good. You got limiters on your restraints to make the game fair. It's like Curry in real life where he can do the fast explanation. It's like he put the work in training behind the scenes. And he like hypnotized himself to being able to be whatever before, whatever barrier was before him that had the best threes. What would that be? I don't think it was Jordan, but whoever it was, he like, no, he's... At this point, he's better than a created character. And it defies explanation. It's like his self has started with his self and everybody else that's in a crowd that's watching him and the millions of people that's watching that's not even at the stadium see him and they know what he's capable of due to what he's shown starting off with himself. And they believe in him as well. So it make him that much more stronger, that much more powerful, that much more skill, and the ball is going in. Some of you will understand what I'm talking about. Some of you won't. It may sound like a, some hooey. We all know sorcery for the most part. We all know this real witches, warlocks, witchcraft, poltergeist, hexa high, narcomancy. We all know it's real, right? And that's why people stay away from Ouija boards because you might end up in Jumanji. But nah, it's real. And that's just as real. It's your, your belief in it. But let's continue. <clears throat> the warriors performed war dances to prepare the mind and body for the fight. With this combination of natural and psychological elements, the berserkers emerged. Various cultures have reported of warriors reaching an uncontrolled state of fury, but it was during the Viking era that the term berserker became popular. Nah, I'm not like that. Mass control. Mass control. But yeah, what I seek is power at the end of the day, and... The bad guys, the elitists, they bad guys, but they are brotherhood. That's on the same accord, and they organized. And they just stepping and trampling on the consensus, the populace, all of us. It's like to combat that, you need power in itself. And it take one worthy of such. You see what people do in different avenues from a Diddy in the music industry or from a YouTuber being whoever. You seen him start off humble, begin as then you put him to the top because you felt he deserved it. And then he turned out to be a shitty person and shitted on everyone that was around him and that had his best interests. You know some. Name some in the comment section. The industry, any industry you can think about, people that just turned out to be. But the power is not it. But I see the bad guys. They snipe people in broad daylight. JFK. The Again, the Marcus Garvey's. The 
Black Panther Party, the Asada Shakur, the Tupac Shakur, and everything that go on, everybody that say and do something that's worthwhile end up getting extinguished. So it's like to combat that, you literally need some a cult, cult like following for real, like the to be on the same accord. You need a brotherhood, a brotherhood, a sisterhood, whatever that's on the same accord, and that's represent resistance against the constraints. The constraints that's placed on us. The slavery is it. It's, it's in forms of electronics. and It's all designed to destroy us. You get your dopamine spikes when you get enough likes on your picture. And all this is by design. Shout out to Elon Musk. I think he said he's removing likes from Twitter. X, formerly known as Twitter. But yeah, it's... It's like the devil or demons, whatever you want to call it. It's like in a form of electronics and... You still enslaved with your, your conscious. We are slave. We're slaves to. We're enslaved, not slaves. We're enslaved to, as a collective, of course, to debt by design. To of course, like indebted to who? Who do these numbers and these insurity bonds behind the social go to? Who own it? He might as well show himself because he's a bitch. I don't respect nobody that's a coward, bully, and you somewhere high and underground somewhere. Use a bum when we catch your ass, we getting rid of you. But yeah, like to combat this shit, like if you speaking on anything worthwhile and you you have a fury about this shit like no other, it's like you can quickly be extinguished if you just you by yourself or you just got some fan base or like now nah, we need a bunch of people as well to be on the same accord to combat this. So even us as a collective doing a mass meditation and actualizing, manifesting, and materializing the reality we all would agree upon that we want. I don't believe it necessarily got to get real bad and dark how they say for things to get better. But realistically, it seemed like it's headed that way because the majority is either dumb, deaf, or blind. One of the two, two of the three, or all three. So realistically speaking, I don't think you just finna snap people out of a... But yeah, it start with thyself. I start in the mirror, do some introspection, see what's reflecting and change thyself. For the better, like what Michael Jackson was saying in the song, is real. You start you, you start off with yourself, and you start off with your household, your immediate family. Then you will be helping everyone else. You will be helping out everyone else, indirectly. Example: um, I raise my household right. You raise yours right. Our kids end up mingling. It won't be none of that toxicity and the things we've experienced, me and you, or whatever. And we cut the cord. The, um, we cut the cord of the dysfunction we come from and start a whole new bloodline whether you give them powerful names that isn't associated with some plantation a slave owner you instill the right things in them you teach them early on which you learn completely after the fact they eat according to their genetics and they just competent and capable ready and it's like you do that we both do that and our kids and I'm mingling it'll just make the bloodline stronger if they do decide to so we can start like a whole new thing. Because me, I want to completely cut ties from where I come from. Ain't nobody successful. I know success is in the eyes of the beholder as well. But ain't nobody successful in that way too. If they somebody in my family telling you they lying like shit. If you ain't got your time to leisure and you can't grow your own food, you're not successful. They're chemically molesting you. Injecting your food all kind of nasty, weird shit. And then you paying for what God gave you for free. That's insane. And then you end up with the same health conditions that your parents did. You ain't learned from history. That's one thing we learn from history is that no one learned from history. You literally see your mom in the hospital, leg amputation. She's still finna die anyway. And you still proceed to eat tacos. At that point, may both of your legs get amputated. Everything has its opposite yet equal reaction. Standardized American diet, FDA approved poison. So it's like, yeah, ain't nobody successful. Walkers. We ain't getting no stipend. We ain't getting no equity from the Walker's funeral home. I mean, it's female's name, even Cameron or whatever. I don't know what that, but I'm starting over. I think I'm a change man. You know, like how Ye changed his, and I could just change man. I ain't got to go to no colonizing capitalist to change shit. Fuck you. So I'm starting all the way over changing man. Starting over like a GTA character with the fist up there with no V bucks. Now nah, I'm going to have something up there. I can't just be out on a limb, but at the end of that, I'm starting a whole, it's going to basically be a whole brand new bloodline. I did the self work. I underwent neuroplasticity. I still am. I'm rewriting my DNA with affirmations and the corresponding feeling. 
I'm not bug broken. I got the right to hate motherfuckers, but I don't. I got the right to that. Through epigenetic memory and you can't scratch that shit out and you know the history and currently and we, you can project where we're headed and you got a disdain for that genuinely, but it's in you and it's nothing you can do about it. Antigens on your blood due to their forefathers raping your ancestors. So, and yet my heart light as a feather still. I don't know how the fuck I, I've got to this point, but one thing that did help me being away from a job and all the the things were bombarded with that helped me out a lot so i got the time to do things most will never get to do i just went around the block my bad that's how my mind worked but let's continue the berserkers were nordic warriors very much I'm present in viking too. culture they were adepts of the cult of the god odin there is no exact translation for the word berserker it can be translated as bearskin. There are many sagas and poems in the Viking era that talk about the bravery and ferocity of the berserkers. In a poem written around the year 1200, the berserkers are described as warriors who advance against enemy lines without wearing any armor. In that poem, it is stated that the berserkers' fury was so great that they bit the edges of their own shields to try to control anxiety before a battle. The accounts are even more impressive when they talk about the resistance the berserkers had against pain and injuries. The berserkers' skin became so rigid that it was able to repel the blades of enemy weapons. During the Battle of Stamford Bridge, which took place in 1066 AD, a Viking army, commanded by King Harald Hardrada, was at a great disadvantage against a larger Saxon army. The Vikings were forced to retreat across a Hey, tough asses, how y'all go from this? This is in your bloodline. Still in you, still relevant. It's still relevant through epigenetic memory. That's why you frustrated, you have weird fetishes, or you, you just know, you will suffer up your father's doing. It's a reason for this. How you go from this to being pussied out? How you go from this to big and Activ Activision, the, the mute guys on Call of Duty? <laughs> Like everything's so soft now. I mean, you can't say nothing for real. I do abide by their guidelines because I am on a, you know, but I are real. I do use words that go goes against your social norms of things. You know, I I'm me. It's no restraints or constraints on me whatsoever. No limiters shall be placed on me ever. In this life, afterlife, or life after afterlife. And what's after that is over with. Anything that make me feel entrapped like a slave, I'm clashing, bitch. Clash of Titans, I'm, I'm going all out. Berserker, Warlock, God, I'm, I'm alien God. I'm combining everything, I'm spamming. At that point, it's... <sighs> Wooden Bridge. It was a task that seemed impossible, as the Saxons were very close, and they continued to advance. Suddenly, a Berserker placed himself in the center of the bridge, and, using a large axe, managed to block the Saxons' advance. It is estimated that this berserker defeated 40 men before finally succumbing, mortally wounded by the Saxon spears. But his sacrifice was not in vain. He managed to hold the Saxon army so King Harald could escape, along with many Viking warriors. The berserkers were considered special soldiers who were used at specific times in battle. One of the options was to send the berserkers against the enemy shield wall they advanced without fear of death, breaking shields and creating an opening for the warriors at the rear. The berserkers' aggression was also used in the rear. When the enemy army faced the shield wall, the berserkers would suddenly advance to do great damage. That is why the ancient Catholic priests described the berserkers as men possessed by demons. On some occasions, the berserkers' frenzy and savagery caused them to commit thoughtless acts for example, wounding or even killing their own companions. For that reason, most people preferred to stay away from a berserker. Taking advantage of the discomfort caused by berserkers, the kings and lords of Scandinavia used to choose the best berserkers as personal guards. Being a berserker meant accepting a short life with an abrupt end. Many berserkers died early in battle, as the furious attack did not always cause the expected effect. A group of well-trained soldiers could stand their ground against the berserkers, eliminating much of their efficiency. Another factor that could shorten a berserker's life was his lack of mental balance. Many could not behave normally in their daily lives, 
participating in violent fights, often for no reason at all. Nordic legends say that the berserkers, after living alone in a forest, turn into bears. They were condemned to live the rest of their lives like wild animals. It's unclear what caused the berserkers' uncontrollable and violent behavior. Theories vary between the use of beverages and hallucinogenic plants, or even a state of self-induced trance during rituals in honor of the god Odin. The truth is that the reputation of these warriors has spread throughout the world as inspiration for the most diverse stories and eternalizing the image of the fearsome berserkers. Odin. I have as many names as there is winds. As there are winds. As many titles as there are ways of death. Raven, Hugin, and Morning, Thought and Memory, My Wolves of Frankie and Gary, My Horse, The Gallows, I rattle the riders riding with them. Low key, low key, reload on loafing on Wednesday, Odin. Uh, now, this was interesting. Trust me. All this is real. It's anything you ever heard of. Um, you can't think of anything that doesn't exist. And if one person believe in it, it's real to them. If multiple people believe in it, it's real to them. Now, if it's millions believe in it, which they know, it's it's, it's real. Um, so instead of me running for my power or something I can use for my benefit, for righteous reasons, of course. Again, I'm always against a coward bully. Being you ain't bullying somebody that can be a pretentious match head on. You small pox in the blanket. Now they weak and lethargic and can barely walk. Then that's when you attack and kill them. That's a coward bully and imposing your will on them. So I'm against that. Don't need, don't ask me what my power, what I'm using my power for. It's, it's for the righteous cause. I'm not a super goody two shoe either. Never will I want to be. Huh? But um, yeah, my side is chosen forever. So, witchcraft, or warlocks, and numerology, gematria, berserkers, valkyrie, whatever. It's real, and it's power you can use, or just being knowledgeable about certain things to see kind of see the patterns of what's going on with you currently. If somebody try to put an axe on you, you can know what's going on. You can protect, and you can combat what's going on. So, on top of it, just being very mystical and interesting and i'm genuinely interested in it but what i seek is power and i will obtain it by any means necessary for the right for the righteous reasons though for the right reasons of course the people that's imposing they will on all of us as a collective they're the puppeteers they're and it's no faces or names to attach them to other than the claude schwabs and the fauci or the bill gates or whatever but they just puppets in this grand scheme of things and I'd rather learn about it while I'm knowledgeable if someone else is doing something and I sent something going on, or if necessary. If I ever go to war, I'm turning on Berserker, and I'm, I'm going crazy. You just know I'm taking I'm taking down as many of them as possible. Comprende. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, DM me the link via X. Formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching. That left a two piece. But, um, nah, us versus them. I'll see y'all in the next video. I advise you to learn things as well, too. That's how they got their boot on our neck. They, they know about es esoteric knowledge and spiritual technology and all and they using it on us and sacred grandmas and all that so before i run from something i can use for the righteous reason as resistance against the establishment whether you deem it to be evil i'm gonna use it trust me i'm going all out my i'll see you on the next video man i'm out